If you missed our last video, we flew from Austin, Texas to Merida, Mexico for a mix of fun and work over the next two weeks and we are loving it here so far. Merida is the capital of the Mexican state of Yucatan and is the largest city in the state with almost a million residents. It is a beautiful city full of Mayan history and colonial architecture and is said to be the safest city in Mexico. We have a few adventures planned while we're here including eating tons of local foods and going on a couple day trips and today our goal is to experience as much of the city as we can but in an extra fun way by bike. Well, uh, never mind on the whole biking thing. So normally every single Sunday they have an event here in Merida called BC Ruta, which means bike route. And they close five kilometers of roads in the city so that people can walk and bike all in the streets. It's apparently a ton of fun and we were super excited about it, but we're here during an event called Merida Fest, which is a big festival celebrating the founding of the city. And they have a bunch of other events going on. So they've canceled a lot of their regularly occurring events. And I guess from what we've heard from others on the street today, BC Ruta is not happening. So we will not be riding bikes today. <laughs> we're still gonna show you everything we plan to show you, but by foot instead and maybe an Uber if we get tired. <laughs> This behind me is the Monumento a la Patria, which is one of the most iconic landmarks in Merida. It has 300 hand carved figures that tell the story of Mexico from the establishment of Tenochtitlan to the mid 20th century, as well as different figures that are significant to the Mayan culture. There is just so much to look at on this monument. We read that it took 11 years to complete. While this area has been home to Mayans for centuries, the city now known as Merida was founded by Francisco de Montejo, a Spanish conquistador in 1542, and the street we're walking on now, Paseo de Montejo, is named after him. This stretch of street was inspired by the French Boulevard and is lined with some of the biggest and most elaborate mansions in the city, some of which are museums that you can go into, and it has a lot of cafes and restaurants. We've walked almost three miles. We've worked up quite an appetite, so we're stopping at a super cute spot called El Barrio to get some breakfast. We're gonna be trying a bunch of traditional Yucatan dishes in our next video, so for today, we're sticking to some classic Mexican dishes, and we're starting with the horchata de cacao. And just look at this cup. This cup is made out of wood, and our latte mug is beautiful too. Just love Mexico. Oh yeah. Oh man, that is so good. Horchata has that little grittiness to it from the rice and there's so much chocolate and cocoa in here. It's like Mexican chocolate milk. I think we should have gotten two because I'm not, I don't want to share it. I don't want to share it, don't make me. And for our food, we got chilaquiles, which are fried corn tortillas that are tossed in a sauce, topped with crema and some cheese. And as you can see, we have some vegetables on top, some green sauce, and we have some beans and we got some meat as well. Oh. These chilaquiles are super delicious. This meat in here is nice and smoky and tender. These tortilla chips here, perfectly fried, and then when they're tossed in that sauce, they're kind of soft, but then you still get some crispy bits in there. All the veggies are fresh. The sauce that it's tossed in is nice and tangy. Nice tangy pop in your mouth, and you get cream from the cheese and the crema, and then a little bit of heartiness from these beans. Spectacular. It's almost too pretty to eat. The presentation here, top notch. Mm. Mm. That sauce is perfection. Like Adam said, it has such a good tangy flavor to it. The chips are still crunchy. All the textures work so well. You have like the creaminess, the softness, the crunchiness, just a lot of things going on.
Something we are loving about Medida are all the plazas and parks, and this is the Plaza Grande, which dates back to the mid-1500s, which is as old as the city of Medida itself. It has a nice big open area where people can gather together, plus is surrounded by gorgeous historic buildings. You can easily visit all of the buildings by yourself, but the best way to experience them, in our opinion, is to go on one of the free walking tours put on by the tourism office. We went on one the other day, and we learned so much more about this plaza and Medida than we could have learned on our own. Our guide explained to us the history history of Merida and how this plaza and the surrounding area was once home to five Mayan pyramids which were destroyed and their ruins were used to build the buildings we see today, including the beautiful San Ildefonso Cathedral which was built in the late 16th century and is the oldest cathedral in the Americas, as well as the Museo Casa Montejo which is a free museum in a 16th century house that was built by Francisco de Montejo and was the first building built after Merida became a city. It is one of the few examples of Renaissance civil architecture from the 16th century and has different rooms that show how wealthy Yucatan families lived. We also got to go inside the Palacio de Gobierno, which has 27 murals painted by Fernando Castro Pacheco that depict history between the Mayans and Spanish, see the Palacio Municipal, which is the city hall, and see what was once the first prison in Merida. The tours are at 9.30 a.m., and while the tours are free, make sure to tip your tour guide. We'll put more info in the description on how to join one. But beyond all the history and the gorgeous architecture, this plaza is also very popular for free events. On Monday nights, they have traditional dancing. On Friday nights, they have these video projections on the cathedral, which we watched the other night, and it was incredible. On Saturdays, they usually have Pokta Pok, which is a Mayan ball game that dates back thousands of years, where players can only use their hips to score. Unfortunately, due to the festival we mentioned earlier, they're not doing it while we're here. And on Sundays, as you may be able to tell in here, they have a market. It is a super lively area. They also have these chairs all around the plaza called kissing chairs, so let's give it a shot. It works! <laughs> We've been traveling only in the U.S. for so long and everything is very comfortable there. So it's so exciting to be in a place where we're surrounded by a different language and a different culture. It's a little chaotic and overwhelming at times, but it's pushing us out of our comfort zone. And that's exactly why we want to travel. So it's just making us super happy. Ever since getting here to Merida, we've noticed a lot of paint stores like Sherwin-Williams scattered among all the streets, and it totally makes sense why. Just look at how colorful all these buildings are. I'm just so obsessed with how much color and just how much character all these buildings have. Just walking around, even not doing anything, but just walking around here is so much fun because everything is just so interesting to look at. One thing to know about visiting Medida is that it can get very warm here. We are here in mid-January and it is only 80 degrees today, but it feels much hotter and it's gonna get even hotter over the next week or so. But thankfully, we know of the perfect way to cool down on a warm, sunny day. Y'all know we had to come get some ice cream, specifically gelato from Puebla Gelato, and this place has some very unique flavors. This one right here is a blue cheese with an apple compote. You can even see kind of the blue cheese color in there. I also have marquesita, which is a food item that we'll share more about in our next video, but it's basically cheese and then this hazelnut butter, and then I got one that's a peanut brittle. Mm. And even inside, they're starting to melt because it's hot. I don't know which one this is. Mm, that's a peanut butter one. Mm. Oh, 
soon as peanut butter ice cream is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it hit the lips. Mm. And I got the citrus Charlotte with homemade dolce de leche. And I also got the marquesita and a baked coconut with cinnamon. Yeah, it is dripping everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, look at all this in here. The chunks. All these huge chunks and pieces. Mm. I think it's the marquesita because it's got these little pieces there. I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> Oh, this marquisito one kind of tastes like cheesecake. Oh, it's, that tastes just like cheesecake. That is delicious. Mm. I believe this next one is the coconut with cinnamon. That has got tons of cinnamon flavor in there. Subtle coconut, but again, super creamy, super fresh tasting. Heck yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of this blue cheese one because I'm not always the biggest blue cheese fan, but I thought, what the heck, let's try something unique. You can see kind of that moldy, oh gosh, moldy blue <laughs> cheese in there. Dang, that is actually delicious. You get that kind of sour, tangy blue cheese flavor, but it's also just so sweet. Every single flavor has tasted exactly like what it was supposed to taste like. You can tell that this is extremely fresh and homemade, and that they're using like real, true ingredients in here. It just, it's perfect. Mm. Well, my flavors are all melting together. As you can see, very liquidy in there. And I can't quite find this last flavor, but I do taste a hint of citrus, and I bet it would be really good on its own. So, it tastes really good mixed all together, though. <laughs> Kirk of having gelato on a hot day. It turns into a milkshake, so it's a two for one. <laughs> Way to Boy go. Man. Boy man. We have walked over seven miles today, so that is gonna do it for our biking turn walking tour of Medida. We are really enjoying our time here so far, and to see even more of what we've been up to, be sure to follow us on Instagram. We'll be sharing daily stories from our time here, including some spots that we won't be showing on YouTube. But for our next adventure, we're gonna go on an epic Yucatan food tour. We're gonna try so many foods that we are super excited about, and we're gonna warn you now, you won't wanna watch our next video hungry.